Right. Hello, and welcome to the first level of the Critical Agency. Woo, buddy. Oh. Such a big deal, we changed our room. We're in what an undisclosed location. Right. No. Deep. We're in Matt's cave. No, we're deep, deep, deep underneath. Don't say that. Out. We're not in Matt's cave. We're in the Matt <laughs> cave. Um, so this is going to be a show about these four gentlemen creating characters that join a secret agent group. Sea man. And secret a dog. And a dog, man. because <laughs> Christian's dog does not... Does not not want to be in this. Right? <laughs> not that this is Christian's place. No. No. Why? We're in an undisclosed secret location. Undis- underground undisclosed location. Yes. We had five. We had one job, meeting. We said don't disclose the location. <laughs> I <laughs> said it's not your. We place. didn't even start the campaign, and you're already fired. But what if you were to go from there and tell them that it's located in Washington D.C.? Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Um, why don't you guys introduce your characters a little bit? Don't give too much away, because we're going to go into each one of you individually real quick. So let's start with you. Gordon Arcade. To the camera. Handyman. <laughs> 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 that's, that's all you get. That's how you introduce yourself. So one, uh, uh, okay, so I should explain a little bit. Um, the game we're playing is basically a vague derivative. 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 Der- derivation. Rivets. Oh, oh that's right. Rivet gun. Derips. Derivation Derps. of a game called Top Secret. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not exactly the game because that game is confusing for no reason. Mm. Uh, so I made kind of my own version of it. Right. So they have uh, they have stats: uh, strength, reflex, intelligence, will, constitution, movement, and dexterity. Right. And Enjoy right, that. they all started at zero for everything. I gave them each five points. But for every point up they went in something, they had to go down one point in something else. And Unless someone, you're me. And no, someone, you still went down. You just went all down in one thing. Yeah. yeah. No, so someone's what are you dumb. good at? What are you not good at? Oh, uh, I'm like real strong. But if you throw a ball at me, I may or may not catch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good enough. <laughs> My intelligence is kind of subpar, not as subpar as his. He doesn't even know that you insulted him right there. So. But you could like stab me and I'll Stay. barely feel it. <laughs> Can I have a dog in the actual game too? <laughs> if, if, you, if you take the animal uh, friendliness advantage. There's also um, advantages mm. which oh. you can buy with a with uh, a, a currency mm. that we're using called uh, skill points. Uh, they started off with, uh, they had to roll a d6 and that's how many thousand skill points they got. I am you got, awful at What did you get, d6? three? You got three or two? I got, like, really low. Well. <laughs> Everyone's bad at the D6. Yeah. The D6 is where it didn't go well for anybody but Sean, no. I think. No, I got bad. I got worse. I got one. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I was only well, able to get two little advantages. Oh, no, I got really good. Oh, you got really good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so we're okay. Actually. So, yeah, so basically you have your character, you have your stats, um, and you have your advantages. Everything else, uh, they bought items and stuff like that, but we'll get that into that more when we get into the combat and stuff. So what are you good at? What are your advantages? My advantage is mechanical aptitude, internal compass, because why not? Because you needed to spend your skill points. <laughs> yes. Some of them are more expensive than others. The more useful, more uh, right, more used ones. I and guess. also the deadly, the lethal, driving 101. So the driving uh, advantage, obviously everybody has like a license. They know how to drive, but the driving advantage may- means he's able to like be an elusive driver if you guys are trying to escape mm. somebody. He can also, with, yeah. with level one, he can drive motorcycles. Better than As just you? competent. <laughs> yes, and better than just like, I can drive a car. Like, you can drive a car well. So can I drive stick. on two wheels And he an can drive hour? stick. And you can drive stick. Yes, that's that's definitely a thing. Okay, how do I drive with a stick? Uh, uh, anyway, should I can show you? <laughs> <laughs> don't. I'm I, barely I certain. I don't <laughs> listen to him. Go ahead. So I'm playing <laughs> Jeff Scotch. Who? Scotchy, scotch, 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 but I also have obscure knowledge, level one, and that I know everything. 
Not <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> strange <laughs> things. Level Little one <laughs> means you know like some strange things. <laughs> like, for example, the tips of shoelaces are called aglets. aglets. Yes. <laughs> 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 he does have obscure knowledge. But their well, true purpose so, like, is sinister. For example, if you had to like complete a crossword puzzle. And you needed a hint, or, or you needed to like do a check to complete a crossword puzzle or something like that. You could use that advantage. And, um, and any time they think an advantage applies, they let me know, and I decide okay. if they get a plus one or not. We'll or keep you in mind when we doesn't. come across a sphinx. Anyway. Anyway. Wait, do I do my code name or a real name? Your real name. Oh, but I don't. You said not to reveal my real name to anyone. No, no. Only on only when you're on missions, you don't reveal your real name. I could trust them. They look like a stand-up camera. Yeah. It looks like a, like a stand-up camera on a tripod. <laughs> Literally standing up. Yeah, it is standing. Yeah. The name's Horace. Horace Mancheeks. Your entire family just died. Right. right. What yeah. are you good at and what are you bad at? There's really only two answers. I'm good at will. <laughs> so he, he doesn't break and he's not afraid of anything. Right. Yeah, he's, I, but he's I our have, torture guy. I'm trained in fearless and I'm level two in it, and that's the only thing I'm trained in. <laughs> Fearlessness. Fearlessness. So if we need a but steady what, hand. But what are you really, really bad at? What? Intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Negative five. Tell us what we want to know. So I don't even know what you want to know. <laughs> so all of, but I will to tell you that. Most of them spread out their stats like Mostly intelligence. He just went, nope, plus five willpower, minus five intelligence. Go. I'm going to be unbreakable and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, whatever works. We I'm did sure. a test mission, and he walked face first into a guy shooting at him. So and, and, It worked. Yeah, it, it, worked. Didn't, it didn't go poorly, Honestly, <laughs> that, that was my strategy the whole mission, and it kept working the entire mission. I don't know how long it I walked right at him. <laughs> what? All right. Well, there was a cloud of... Du- anyway, not, not important. Dark, the, by the way, dark. this is a flawed system. Like, obviously, if you get shot, you probably will die in real life, but we can't just let everybody die in one shot. So. It's just for fun. Exactly. Don't be nerds. Exactly. Nerds. Right. Mm. Anyway. Like, yeah, we're talking to you. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about your character? Right there. No, um, no, 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 not the other one. Uh, right. I, no, I, Jason. That one. Yeah, uh, Jason. Uh, I am five foot six, 180 pounds, and I'm a British guy. Ooh. And... You're also a black guy, I say. I, see. Uh, I don't see why that has to matter, Matt. Race. Why do you gotta point that out, Matt? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Race. Black that, guy. That's why I, that's why I point that out. Not African American or Jamaican, Haiti, Haitian, Tahitian, with Africa. Africa. And I'm right handed. Because that's, <laughs> that's important. It is important, actually. It does come up more than, more than you would think. Anyway. That's true. Uh, my name is Jason Vanders. People call me Bullseye. Because I can't see without these. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't no make sense. No one calls me that. Um, I uh, am trained in hand-eye coordination, night vision, and peripheral vision. Um, basically, I'm planning to be the team's marksman, shooter, You're AD Hawkeye. carry. You're Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They call him Bullseye for a reason. What are you good at uh, in your stats? He's good at drawing. Uh, my strength and intelligence are a little low. Uh, so is my speed. Because mm-hmm. I'm usually carrying around a big gun. Right. Uh, but I make up for it in my constitution and dexterity. So I can take a beating and I can dish out a bunch of gunfire on people's bitch faces. Right. Yeah, you can. Uh, speed and movement are basically the same thing in this game. Right. Happy? Sorry. Movement. What are, what's your stats? Happy. She's like, I'm um, happy. She just threw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> girl was throwing up. Happy what you do, Well, you up. do have <laughs> her choke off. She put her arm there. That's yeah, true. Actually, my arm's falling asleep still because of this. Um, so everyone roll a d20. We'll see who gets to start Ooh. off. Happy. The first, the first recruit. Crit. Crit. All right, looks happy. like... So, this way? No, it's, uh, it's the same way. order that we just did introductions. Oh, you what's your roll? Three. Oh, you rolled five. Okay. All right, so... Uh, name again? Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna keep asking until I remember. Oh, my name is Gordon Arcade. Gordon Arcade. Okay. Handyman. The handyman. So, Gordon. Uh, backstory? We're gonna go into your backstory. Um, basically, uh, we want you to tell us how or why you think you're qualified for the critical agency. Why am I qualified? I mean, have you ever heard of anybody else? Uh, skydiving naked and diving into a sunken pirate ship naked. You mentioned the naked part already. Twice. It's very. It, you were like really very naked. Very necessary. I mean, like really naked. <laughs> I mean, I, I, 
I break the record. I want to argue that someone has, but I don't know about, enough about naked pirate diving. Oh, no, I can. And good. then I pull out a giant book of Guinness World Records. You see, that's me. I There's a me. record for that? <laughs> How did they even record that? Once. <laughs> Long, was it longest distance? Oh, yeah. It no, was, it was, it, the, it was the amount of times done. Farthest once. distance traveled vertically while naked. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, I, all right. So that's I actually, actually break it then. That makes, yeah. uh, I feel like there would be a lot of slappy bits that hit the water that wouldn't feel too good. <laughs> well, well, you see, you got to do the pencil dive, and then when that did it, it kind of hit something. And let's not go into that. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rough day for, for uh, Gordon Arcade. I feel like water would go into places you don't want it to go into. Well, no, he's airtight. Well, that's why he's uh, called um, the handyman. <laughs> also, my uncle had the largest collection of uh, variety cheeses, and then I ate that collection. Wow, dude. Did you well, at least get a record for it? <laughs> uh, you know what? They couldn't prove it, but my toilet does not disagree with me. Okay. They're still in debutes. Debutes. Disputes. You're good at this today. Disputes. Bro, are you even literate? I, hey, he was trying to say debates and disputes at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome still to the 2016 presidential debutes. Yay. <laughs> um, so you are actually at a bar right now, mm. and you are talking with... Well, actually, I should say, you're sitting next to somebody that's just looking through a bunch of papers in, like, a manila folder. Okay. And he's just, he seems to be stressing, and he's wearing, like, this nice suit, mm. and he's got uh, sunglasses on his head. Okay. Not on his eyes, on, his, on top of his head. And on his eyes. And another mm. pair on his eyes. <laughs> and another, another pair in his front pocket. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. No, no, just, just the ones on his head. Uh, and he just, he, he has a drink, but he doesn't seem to have touched it yet. Hmm. And he's just flipping through these papers. Um, so what do you want to do? Okay, I go up to him and I say, Hey, it looks like I need a drink. <laughs> yeah, go for it, okay? Totally. Alright, I go, Hey, bartender, I'll have a scotch on the rocks on this guy. My okay. new buddy right here. <laughs> no, what? And while I'm talking to him, I'm popping raisins. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I, what? I didn't set... When did I agree to this? Oh, we made an agreement. Here. Here's your I payment. Don't... I give him raisins. I'm, I haven't really eaten today. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can join. You can, we, we, can, we, can, we can compete with each other. I'm trying to break the record of most raisins eaten within an hour. Well, are we competing against each other? How many raisins do you have on you right now? I've had like 70. But I have not enough. But it's not a record. I have more. I open up my coat. It's just a trench coat filled with raisins. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> Let's drink scotch and eat raisins. Yes. <laughs> I was so, gonna do this. Yeah, yeah that should, should be. I don't. Maybe the high fives aren't a good idea. Oh yeah, no high fives. <laughs> okay. Dog, so just like what? <laughs> and then when you look away, my mouth just turns into a blender of raisins. Oh, right. So like about fifty minutes passes, right? Uh, that's about eight hundred raisins. I was gonna say you're about a thousand and twenty raisins in. Okay. Wow. You're you're about a hundred away from the record. You got All ten right. minutes left. Okay. Let's just say I don't know the actual record. I got to be totally. All right. Honest. At this point, I'm not I'm not even opening the boxes. I'm eating the boxes. But for every box that you've eaten, you've also taken a shot of scotch with this guy. Ah. So. You two are equally hammered. How do you fit all this stuff in your stomach? I don't know. I'm sh <laughs> He's shitting simultaneously. He took a page out of my book. Did I mention yeah. I have diverticulitis? Here's my bag. Oh right. my god, there were so many letters in that word, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Debutes. You're gonna, shit, you're gonna shit out Raisin Brian later. <laughs> That's accurate. Um, so, okay. while I'm with him, I'll just bullshit with him. <laughs> <laughs> Him other world records I've broken, like you know, I started the world's biggest orgy of four thousand women, plus this guy. Wow, I once had sex with a woman. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I, softly, I have five, softly. but I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> but actually, he actually misses. He's like oh. really drunk. He's like, you would be a good addition to my team. You should join the team. I like clubs. It's it's like, it's like a job. Do you have a job? What? I break records as a job. How would you like to break faces as a job? That's a record. That most could be broken faces. <laughs> Wait, how about most <sighs> most records broken off faces? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Challenge accepted. You're high. <laughs> <laughs> Just and he gives you his card and he says on the back is instructions. I'm gonna go get a cab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I put like 50 more raisins in his pocket. 
All right, he doesn't notice. <laughs> Knock him in there. Nice job. <laughs> oh, my sneaky skills. Uh, are you going to read the card? Yeah. All right. On the front, it says uh, Larry Masters. Mm. Uh, well, actually, it says Director Larry Masters. After I, after I see Masters, I'm like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, uh, underneath it says, The Critical Intelligence Agency. Also known, like, it says CIA on mm. it. So. I feel like I should know this. Yeah, it's probably some fancy company. Yeah, and then it has like the address and all that stuff on it, his email and all that stuff. But on the back, mm. oh, actually, well, how drunk are you? Inebriated. Okay, roll a uh, roll a something check. Uh, roll constitution. A, I, I guess a will a will check. For drunk? I feel like it's constitution. It would be against your body and will okay. against your mind. Yeah. Sure, sure. Well, I guess it's kind of both then. Oh, oh no, oh, plus okay. four, plus well, six. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, you are able to clearly read the back. It's very small letters. That's why it was hard to oh, read. Oh, okay. It says, it gives you instructions on where to go and when, uh, if you want the job. Which And it says a figure on the bottom. Okay. And What's the figure? Uh, it, it does... It, is it like a stick figure? Or a no, no. It's a, figure? It's a, no, it's a figure of... It's a monetary value. Oh, money figure. Oh, However, that was it's constantly drawing. changing. Is it getting lower? No, it's just changing. Going up and down. Oh, okay. Wait, as in it's going up and down like with stock prices kind of deal? No, just it's just a card that can go up and down in numbers. That's all. Oh, okay. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, so still, are you like a like, hair? Like you're a hair. looking at this like Psh, whatever, and <laughs> you should be like, holy shit, this is breaking physics laws right now. <laughs> does like anybody the universe see doesn't make sense anymore? Does anyone else drunk. see the that's Harry true. Potter paper right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so will you, will you go? Yeah. Why okay. Not? Uh, I bring a, on to, I, I bring a stack of records because I need to break them off people's faces. Of course, uh, I will move on to Jeff Scotch. Let's tell us a little bit about your backstory. Well, well I'm a computer programmer. Where? So, Anywhere important or just no, just uh, you know whatever. And uh, I tend to hack a little bit on the side by myself. You know, just okay. Typical, nothing, nothing like dangerous. You know. Okay. Just so fun stuff. All right. So he hacks a lot of porn sites in his spare time. Well, who don't have to I mean, hack them? Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, uh, they're free. Yeah, they're, they're readily available. available. <laughs> Hacking porn sites. <laughs> More like just like, typing I, it I in. don't jerk on mobile. Um, so <laughs> just let me free. Yeah. Um, so um, while you're in the middle of one, yes, happy. He's <laughs> hacking. Sorry. Um, while you're in the middle of your hacking, uh, a, a screen pops up, like almost like an instant message, and says, "Hey, you." I just use my cool technology and swipe my hand to the left and the, make the screen go away. It comes up bigger. Hey, you. I start rerouting the server so that I can bypass the circuits and oh, get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> you just said nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to reroute <laughs> servers and, and... I got to hack the mainframe with the hard drives. <laughs> like unit data errors. You yeah. Know. <laughs> and stuff. Um, you know, or so, move the mouse. <laughs> well, let's not get technical. We use um, the mouse. <laughs> Yeah, let's not get technical. Anyway, um, so as you as you're trying to reroute the server, as you said, <laughs> it just pop up, pop, pop, pop. Hey you, hey you, hey you, hey you, hey you, hey you, all over your screen, and you can't click X fast enough to get rid of all of them. I just type in my computer. What? <laughs> Question mark. Enter. Uh, it says, it says, um, if you try to hack this this uh, server again, you will die. C-H-A-L-L-E-N-G-E space A-C-C-E-P-T-E-E-D Challenge accepted. Next. Thank you. Yeah, for, well, we're, you for are. our dyslexic people. Uh, I'm dyslexic, were like, but I understood what you were saying. We were like, literal. challenge your acronym. What's the <laughs> um, it, just, it just actually pops up with, uh, with a Skype chat now. And it's, this, and it's uh, a guy similar to the one BD talked to. So it's a guy just wearing a suit, and he's got sunglasses now on his face, actually. He's got sunglasses over his eyes. And he's just sitting there in a suit like this. Stupid chat roulette. I put my hand over my camera. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it a, is it like a good camera? Like, like a, a good webcam? Yeah, I mean, why not? It, it starts spinning around and going up above your hand. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even know it had that function. <laughs> Damn straight, you didn't. Um, he just goes, "Can you can you take the hand down, maybe? Can you tell me who you are?" 
director. What did I say my name was again? Masters. Larry Masters. Larry <laughs> Masters. Sorry, I forgot the first name. I remember the Masters. Uh, mm-hmm. Director Larry Masters. I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> he likes to say that. <laughs> turn the camera around. <laughs> It, turn, the wall. it turns back. I don't like this thing anymore. <laughs> Exorcist style. <laughs> I'm like, just rip it out. <laughs> it turns itself back on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it turns back on and starts crawling towards you. <laughs> it wraps the cord around your neck. No, okay. So he says, I'm director Larry Masters with the CIA. Go on. Uh, how would you like a job opportunity? Go on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I need to, to go know if you here. say yes or no first. Depends on the job. Well, being oh, you can't eat dice. Being a secret. I'll show or, you. Being <laughs> no, I can and I will. Being a secret organization that we are, uh, I can't exactly tell you what the job entails unless you receive the job. So, would you like to try to get the job or? Well, I don't like. You know, going into things and not knowing at least a little bit about it. Oh, <laughs> See, she agrees with me. I know. <laughs> She's like, this sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't like this prospect. Another. Hey. <laughs> All right, so. I'm a dog. Well, right. tell you what. Tell you what. If you change your mind... Here's all the information, and it pops up on your screen and says, like, it's, it's basically his business card, but on... On a on hyperlink? Line. Yeah. No, no, not a hyperlink. It just oh. pops up on your screen. It's in 3D. It's also a hologram. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I have... <laughs> but the numbers don't move 3D. on this one for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they, they're actually pretty stationary. <laughs> I mean, I have a 3D it's monitor. It's also burned to your screen. Right. No. <laughs> um, okay, so you can make uh, your decision. So what does it I, say? The same oh, it just it gives, it gives you directions to the facility... Uh, and the time to be there in a, in a day. It, the day is like in, in about four or five days. All right. It's on a weekend. You don't have anything going on. No, I don't know. <laughs> it could be, you know, whatever. Uh, Horace. Horace Mancheeks. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your backstory. Well, you see, I live a simple life. Yep. I design uh, atomic submarine planes. <laughs> submarine planes? Submarine planes. They're submarine airplanes. You don't design them. I don't buy atomic bombs. Well, I never said it was successful. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I was hired by an underground contractor who also does not know what they're doing, Hmm. and I've been spending my my past couple days hitting this piece of metal with a hammer trying to turn it into a submarine. So hold on, hold on. That he attached a hot air balloon to. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So you're trying to build a submarine that can fly underground with atomicness. Not even underwater, but you're trying to build it underground. You have to remember, his intelligence is minus five. His IQ is about 50. And this contractor gave you plutonium or something to go along with this? He gave me shiny rocks. (laughs) He told me they were gold. (laughs) Christian's just handling them without, like... I'm sorry, Horace is just handling them without anything. He's just like... Hmm. He's actually sitting there, like, just in boxers. <laughs> That's I've, I've, I told him I'd had it done in three weeks. Um, so, well, what else about your backstory makes you viable for this agency? Um, I've also been a, you know, like a hired gunman. I killed a lot of people. From, by who? Who are you hired guys? By? Like the mob? Yeah. Okay, so, um, you get actually a call on your cell phone. Hello. Horace. Yes. This Come is here. Horace. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> who, who are you? This is your former boss. What was the password that we used? Uh, pizza. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear him go, oh wow, alright. <laughs> <laughs> he says it out yeah. loud. He's like, wow, wow really? Okay. <laughs> wow, alright, that was easy. Um, Tell you what, we have a we have an opening on a team coming up. Sounds good. I'll take it. All right. Well, you have to you have to like try out first though. I'll take it. Okay. So come to he gives you the address. And well, I, I'll also need the address of the competitors. No. Well, no, that's not exactly how it works. You're going to be a part of a team. So. A te- all right. What are their names so I can say hello to them? You'll meet them when you get here. All right. I'll bring my axe. That's not necessary or even what? allowed. I have questions. Even a little bit allowed. I'm not even on the team and I have questions. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, don't don't bring anything that'll be taken from you when you come in anyway, so. Should I bring pants then? You, well, <laughs> yes. You're not being very clear. You, you know what? If you don't want to bring pants, we'll give you pants. He's not being clear. I expect pants, though. All right, we'll give you pants. All right, thank you. All right, bye. <laughs> Shows I up call him back. You never told me where to go. Oh, yes, I did. No, I don't remember. I texted it to you. You did? You did. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. We still hanging out this Thursday, boss? Yes. You, you said this Thursday, <laughs> right? All right. Tell the wife and kids I said hi. All right. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the boss didn't have wife and kids. He didn't. <laughs>